Oh, hey there. I need to turn on my music. Let's do that real quick while we get the uh, stream going. There we go. Um, so, welcome to today's stream. I am going to be um, going over why I think druid is going to be good for leveling. Uh, honestly, I'm going to just state up front, I think most classes are going to be good for leveling uh, and most specs. But I think I think that, uh, and I'm currently feral, uh, I, and I plan to level, or do my DPS as feral. Um, I'm going to just share why I think that is. Apparently I have some UI errors. It's alright. Um, so let's kind of get into it and we'll see what, what we're going to do. I'm going to go through some of the daily stuff. I'm going to start working on some of the war campaign stuff. And I'm just going to kind of talk throughout. Uh, and in fact, I wanted to do a heroic, horrific vision and get a sense of um, uh, how it plays. Real quick, one, here's one really great reason to be a druid, right? You can go and you can change what you look like. Who wouldn't want to be a cat or a bear, right? Or have, well, in my sprite darter, I don't know if you can see. Who wouldn't want to put leaves in their beard, right? Um... There's a lot of reasons, and that's one of them. So, like, I know, you know, you can't go transmog the heck out of your, uh, you can't have your armor shown when you're in one of your forms, but I think that actually just, you know, you don't see many of these, right? And I don't even have a bunch of these forms. Um, I actually intend to get some of them, and I wanted to go show you the barbershop real quick. I think it's over here. There it is. So just look at the options that you get, right? Look at so you can do what do I have I have the undercut side fade I have leaves in my hair you can control the size of your ears you can control whether your facial your beard has vines in it or not your sideburns you can control your tattoos and stuff too right uh, what do I have I have ancient um, and you can control you can give yourself a, a blindfold I don't know why that is but you can you can control your eyebrows and you know what I have not done is I haven't looked at any of the other classes to see like what they have available. So for all I know, um, all I know that you could, you can maybe you can do this on all of them. I don't know. Uh, but like when you're going through your bear stuff, you can kind of see like based on whatever you've unlocked, you can get a bunch of cool stuff. A bunch of these are from the um, from Legion with the artifact weapons. I picked one of the stone paw ones because it's the largest bear. That one is pretty cool and I think there's a similar like neon green one. Um, but I picked this one because it's easier to see, right? And then your cat form has a similar amount of selection. This is a bit dark for me. That's really... It's probably pink but it's really purple to me. And that is violet looking. Uh, I like the white one even though it looks pinkish to me. And then here are some of the Legion weapon ones. Um, this one is pretty cool, but it's really common. And then there is also the Fire Cat one from Firelands that you can get that I don't have. I was playing my Death Knight during that expansion. So I might end up in one of my streams going through and, and doing some... I might end up doing some um, transmog runs or, or their equivalent to get um, those forms.
I'm being told that I'm gonna have to sign out and buy something in Fortnite. Uh, we'll see if that actually happens. And let's see if I'm better at uh, Feral Druid where I don't die to one of the easiest quests in the game. Uh, I started this. I started this by saying, like, "Hey, here are the reasons you should be a druid." Um, first of all, instant cast flight form. Right? I have a macro over here. Here. This is the macro, and maybe I'll put this into the um, video description. Uh, and this might be unnecessary now, I'm actually not sure. But basically what it does is for whatever you are in, whatever mode you're in, if you're indoor, in water, fly, uh, able to fly or not, it puts you in the fastest thing, or if you're in combat. So if you can fly, it puts you into your flight form. If you cannot fly because maybe you haven't unlocked it yet, It'll put you into uh, this, the stag. It'll put you in this mode, which is your basically mount form. Um, if you are in combat, it'll put you into uh, stag form if able and cat form if not, um, because that's the next fastest, right? If you're in water, and I think that by default it does this now. Let's double check. Uh, I mean, if I'm if I'm if I'm in my flight form now and I just go into the water. Yeah, it auto changes you into your um, aqua uh, uh, words aqua. What is this one called? <laughs> your water form. Let's just say that uh, it puts you into that automatically. And if I even jump out, it'll put me right into uh, into my faster travel form. So parts of this, the standard travel form thing does. Parts of it, it doesn't. So this macro helps. Um, helps pick some of that. Let me do that right now. I'll copy and paste this and get this uh, into the chat. Where the heck is my chat window? There you go. There's that. And if you're watching it on YouTube, I will likewise put it on YouTube in the description. Okay. Uh, so that's one of the great reasons to be Druid, by the way. Instant cast. Oh, and if you are a gatherer, you don't have to shift out of your ga your flight form to quote unquote um, pick herbs or to skin stuff uh, it's pretty amazing for that mining you do shift out for some reason the others don't um, so it's another great druid reason and I think there are a couple extra druid you used to only be able to be night elf and now you can be called Tyran right but druid uh, night elf druids get uh, shadow meld which is pretty great which is a nice little uh, you know kind of a vanish Ability. See, I'm actually just disappeared. And I'm not sure what's going on with... Why do I keep turning gray? What is that? Alright, let's see what else we can get. Oh, no other, by the way, class can look like a chicken. The battle chicken. Or the moonkin, right? And there's also a glyph that you can use to be the star form... Oh, astral caller, astral, astral form. Um, you can be a tree. This obviously, if you're in caster, you can it. You can do what you can do in caster form here, but like you can't really fight unless you're gonna cast. Uh, I don't know. Can you even cast? Let's go find something. I don't even know that you can cast. Um, you can cast your stuff. You can cast everything that way. Okay, well, that, I learned something new. So you can be a tree if you wanted to. For all those people that wanted to be trees. 
Yay, look at you, be a tree. The uh, play style of a druid, by the way, no other, no other class, here's why you should be a druid as well, no other class can be a tank, a healer, a DPS, both melee and ranged, right? No other class can do that. Um, shaman get close. Shaman can be healers and ranged or melee DPS, but they can't tank. Monks can tank. They can heal. They can be melee DPS. Uh, they can't be ranged DPS. Uh, paladins can't be ranged DPS. Um, warriors can't be ranged. Death Knights can't be ranged DPS. Like uh, A lot of those can't heal either, but Druid is the only class I can do any role in the game. So regardless of what your playstyle is that you like to play, Druid has it. Now, it, is it the best at every single one of those things? No. But I will say that the classes are so close now. Um, you know, there's like a what... Yes, there's going to be a difference if you're a top... 99th percentile player there will be a anywhere from a 5 to 20 percent difference in gameplay but for the vast majority that's honestly most people don't play at that level i don't play at that level i play at like the 80 80 to 90th percentile when i'm about a year into a, a character or maybe a few months into a character and i've really learned the rotation and you know that stuff to be honest is on a specific encounter where you can learn to maximize the efficiency of your cooldowns on an encounter and you know when to not stand and stuff and you move early and you take advantage of all those things that's how you get onto that level but uh druid is the only one that can do all those things additionally druid has a ton of control stuff right like if you love to pvp druid is pretty amazing for pvp cyclone and its ability to take people in, that basically phase them out and make that so they can't be targeted by things is an amazing CC. And you've also got uh, Soothe to put other animals like pets or other druids, honestly, to or hibernate, put them to sleep. Uh, you've got uh, Entangling Roots and you've got Typhoon and Ursul's Vortex and you've got um, the ability to be immune to polymorph effects from mages by just literally shape-shifting like it's incredible an incredible amount of uh, crowd control and PvP greatness um, and you can really take advantage of like switching into bear form real quick to be really hardy if they're uh, focusing you and then go and then pop out and do a couple self heals really great hybrid synergy um, and then the mobility that they've got is nuts it's just nuts like with wild charge like I've got this key bound right here and I have a macro for this um, I have a macro to if I just mouse it'll go to my friendly mouse over target and it'll just jump you forward and depending on what's um, s not spec but what uh, shift shape shift you're in it'll do different things so in moonkin form it, it you bounce backwards right in cat form, you jump behind your enemy and you daze them. Uh, in bear form, it charges them, right? So, like, you get, you you know, when you get really good at this stuff, you have the ability to charge, jump backwards, run, uh, jump, fly to an enemy, pounce on your enemy, or fly to an ally, pounce on your enemy. I think the Triant one is just considered a um, caster, so you just jump toward an ally. And then same thing with your mount form. Oh no, it just flat out leaps you 20 yards forward. Whichever direction you're running, just flat out moves you 20 yards forward. So whether there's an ally there or not, which is what uh, the, the Moonkin, no, caster form does. This one I need, is that too far? Fly to an ally's position. Yeah, you need to have an ally for that one. But if I really wanted to, I could just uh, mount and it'll just jump me 20 yards forward. So all of those covenant abilities that I hear people talking about were like, oh, you get an awesome teleport, like Displacer Beast or Mage Blink. Druid has it as a talent, mind you. The Wild Charge talent in this row, but like you're really not giving up a whole lot to get it. You get, you're giving, it, giving up a minute and a half heal or a dash and it replaces your dash. You still have a normal dash. Um, on a two minute cooldown, this one's just reduced, like reduced cooldown. So you're not giving up a whole lot. And then 
yeah, Druid's pretty great. You get to do a ton of stuff. Super mobile. Good, great hybrid synergy in PvP. Um, plus, let's see, even even as a cat, I get uh, uh, a charge, right? Talented, mind you. But my Skull Bash, look at the yardage on this, right? This is my melee interrupt. Um, it's on a 15 second cooldown, so I think that's actually slightly slower than a warrior. It actually, aren't, aren't they on a 12 second cooldown? That's the first time I've noticed that. But look at the range. I can do this from 16 yards away uh, and still do it. And is it the same in the uh, cat form? Yeah, it's 15. So I might be wrong about whether other melee classes like warrior or rogue have a 12 second cooldown on their interrupt. I might be right, and it might be that you pay a penalty for being able to do it from 16 yards away, but this gives you another mobility piece, because you can use this even if they're not casting, you know, like, I can go, where's an enemy, I could just use it right now, it's going to jump to them, right, see, right, there, oh, I tried to interrupt you, there was nothing to interrupt, but I still got to jump to you, so, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot to dislike about the class. Now, if you are a absolute min-maxing DPS person, you might not like the two DPS specs because, from what I understand, Feral has a really large skill gap, uh, skill cap, and a skill gap. Meaning, when you play at the 80% uh, efficiency level of this type of class, your DPS, you're going to be underperforming DPS wise. Um, the rotation has a penalty if you play it wrong. Um, there is not necessarily the quote unquote easy way is still pretty hard. When you're playing as Moonkin, uh, so a balanced druid, when you're a caster, it is less forgiving and it is, however, it's still hard to perform at the highest level. And they have niche niche things um i'm not an expert but uh, like it with the way that um moonfall starfall starfall with the way that starfall now works um it's honestly pretty pretty fun to go ham on uh, a whole area and just sit there and moonfire and starfire everything to kind of pull them and you launch your starfall and you just see everything ticking right and then you can hit one at your one DPS cooldown, the incarnation, and just go ham on things. It's it's pretty pretty fun. Uh, let's see what else do we get as druid. We get Dreamwalk to be able to teleport to the Emerald Dreamway, so you have a little bit of a, a thing there. You get honestly every class, or I'm sorry, every spec of druid gets Bark Skin. Uh, a great damage cooldown that you can use in every type of crowd control except Cyclone. So the only time you would not be able to use this is if you were Cycloned by another Druid. Um, what else is really interesting in here? Oh, did I mention that you can battle res people? I know that other, other classes can do it. Death Knights can do it, and Warlocks can do it. Um, gosh, can Beastmaster Hunters do it with the right pet? They might have taken that away. Uh, so these two are really great raid type group cooldowns. Rebirth or Battle Res. And then Stampeding Roar. Um, the only like group mobility thing that you can really give. And all the druids have access to this now. I think that's, I mean, that might not be enough. I don't know to sway you, but druid is pretty awesome. Is there anything else in here? This is all my racial stuff. Oh, well, I will say, and the reason that I am a druid this expansion, uh, have you noticed? Just take a look at what armor type has the most classes associated with it. I'll give you a hint. It's leather. And when you're doing, you know, friend and family raids with personal loot which is the default for all types of play now you're just gonna get to share more loot it's just a matter of fact right with rogues and druids and demon hunters 
Uh, rogues, druids, demon hunters. What's, there's a third. There's another one in there somewhere. Isn't there? Let's look at classes. I feel like I... Uh, I don't want to be wrong. Where the heck can I even see that? Mm, sources, no. Is it in my mounts? No. Heirlooms, maybe in here? No. Oh, here we go. Class. So, uh, Plate has three. Warrior, Paladin, Death Knight. Uh, male has two. Hunter and Shaman, right? Uh, leather, rogue, uh, monk, that's what I was forgetting. Rogue, monk, druid, demon hunter, four classes that can be leather. Uh, and then cloth has priest, warlock, mage. So, like, there are just more leather classes out there. And demon hunter is a popular one. Monk is a popular one. Druid is a popular one. Honestly, they're all relatively popular. They, they see a lot of play, right? If you're a hunter, your raid might have a bunch of hunters. They probably don't have very many shaman. It, the classes, it's not that it's not that good, it just hasn't, fewer people play it, you know? Um, there's a lot of great synergy by being able to stack an armor type of class in your raid to gear up the whole raid faster. All right, let's go do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the video and I'll restart the stream momentarily because I want to kind of clip this out and post this as a why I think Druid's pretty great video. Be right back. <laughs> 